October the 3rd. An unusual event took place today. I did not intend to go to the department knowing the sour face the chief of my section would show me. He keeps on saying I muddle my work. A damn stalk! He is jealous of me because I sit in the director's study and mend his excellency's pen. I had to go to the department to try and get part of next month's salary. I put on my old cloak and went out into the street. Suddenly, a carriage drew up. Who is this? My director's daughter. Now I am done for, utterly done for. Sophie darted into a shop. Her little dog was left outside. But I know that dog. Her name is Maggie. Another girl came along with her little dog. She looked in the shop window. The dogs sniffed at each other. Good morning, Maggie. What's that? It's too bad of you, Maggie. Am I drunk? Is that the dog talking? So you can write to how amazing I will follow this dog and see where she lives. October the 4th. Today I was in the director's study mending pens. The director must be a very clever man. All these books in French and German. But it is half past one and he is still in his bedroom. Here he Hasn't Papa been here? No, Madam. She dropped her handkerchief. I dashed forward, slipped on the damp parquet, but picked it up and gave it to her. Thank you. She smiled faintly and went away. Oh, she's beautiful. Her dress white like a swan. And when she looked at me, it was like sunshine. Handkerchief, the finest cambric, the very perfume of nobility. An hour without my darling seems as a year to me. What care I for existence? 
must be by Pushkin. I should like to see beyond that door Her excellence's rules Her boudoir and all her little jars And bottles and flowers And her dresses lying around and in her bedroom there must be mothers of paradise. Oh, 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 oh. But I did not notice that the chief of section had come in. What do you think you're doing? You're paying court to the director's daughter, aren't you? I know. Your tricks, you're over 40. It's time you had some sense. Who do you think you are? You haven't a penny. Look at yourself in the mirror. How could you think of such a thing? Damn it! Because he has a face like a medicine bottle, he thinks he can do anything. He hates me. He is jealous of the kindness which his excellency shows me. But I spit on him. I am a gentleman. Wait, my friend. You will see us a colonel someday. Then you won't be good enough to clean my shoes. an idea. Today, I went to the other girl's house to see her dog, Fido. Excuse me, I must speak to your dog. Tell me, Fido, where are those letters from Maggi? I looked into Fido's basket and pulled out some strips of paper. Ah, here! I hurried back to my room to read the letter. Well, let us see. The writing is fairly legible, but there seems to be something doggish about it. Dear Fido, I can never get used to your middle class name. The spelling is quite correct. Much better than our chief of section could do. Isn't my life spent in comfort? My young mistress so full of me passionately. But no, on with the letter. Did the 
Fascinated her so much. At this rate, she will soon be attracted by the clock who sits in Papa's study. Oh, ma chère, how ugly he is, just like a tortoise in a sack. What clock is that? He has a very queer head. He always sits mending pens. His hair looks like straw. I believe that nasty little dog is referring to me. Who said my hair was like straw? So they cannot help laughing whenever she says it. I, you damned cur, what a pity turn. This is the work of it. The shape of section is behind it. Dog's letter to bits. The wedding shall not take place. What if he is a gentleman of the chamber? That doesn't give him a third eye or a golden nose. Then a newspaper caught my eye. Strange things are happening in Spain. They say the throne is vacant and that some donna will ascend it. But a donna cannot ascend the throne. They say there is no king, but there must be a king. He must be in hiding somewhere. Thousand A.D. April the forty-third. I'm going to cop 
be their horrid papers. I'll show them. I'll go along, just for fun. I followed him along to the office. Sit down and get on with your work. The director came in. All the rest stood up, but I didn't stir. Director, indeed. Who does he think he is? He's a cook, the kind you cook butters with. If they only knew who was sitting among them. Out us find this. Oh, so they think I'll sign at the bottom. So and so, clock of the table. Catch me. I'll sign here in the very center space. Ferdinand the A. out and went straight to Sophie's room. The footman tried to stop me. Out of my way, son! Sophie jumped up when she saw me. I bowed and walked out. Madrid. Martoba the eighty six. Sit down there, and if you go on calling yourself King Ferdinand, I'll knock that nonsense off of you. I do not agree. Very quickly, only half an hour in a carriage. Why did that Lord Chancellor be? Perhaps it is a custom of chivalry. When I think of the great brittleness and softness of the moon, as 
as you know, the moon was made in Hamburg and very badly made too by a lame Cooper. And the fool had no idea of how moons are made. As they are all in the moon, and the earth is very heavy, and when it falls, it will grind our noses to powder. I rushed to the central hall and gave my orders to the grandees. They rushed to carry out my wishes. Many climbed the walls to reach the moon. On the other rush and a hearts Is that my home in the blue distance? Is that my mother at the window? Mother, save your poor son Drop a tear on his aching head See how they torment him Mother On your poor, sick little boy. And do you know, the Emperor of China has a boil just under his nose. Ha, 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 ha. 